Hey everyone, Doug from Combology here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about Thrive Apprentice and whether or not it needs a membership plugin in order for it to work and to work for your particular implementation. So we're going to talk about that today, go through a couple different scenarios and look at whether or not you can use Thrive Apprentice without uh, a membership plugin at all. So let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at the back end of my site where we're going to uh, look at some of the different ways in which you can restrict content using Thrive Apprentice. All right, here we are in Thrive Apprentice, and if we go to access restrictions, here's where we basically choose who and who gets access and how they get access to our site. Down below, you can see that uh, we can use a membership plugin, which I recommend Wishlist Member, or you'll see that we can use a WordPress role, which means that we can give access to someone who's a subscriber, a customer, an editor. You can use a custom uh, what do they call them, like a user role editor plugin to create custom roles and you can use the registration form to give courses away for free. Uh, or you can use Thrivecart. Thrivecart is actually a software as a service tool and the way that Thrivecart works with Thrive Apprentice is really quite unique. They have an exclusive API integration that basically connects between the two products and helps them work seamlessly. So to the question of whether or not you can use Thrive Apprentice without a membership plugin, um, I would say absolutely, but I would recommend that you use Thrivecart. Um, Thrivecart right now is on a lifetime deal where you can pay once and you get it forever. And that is infinitely better than something like SendOwl, um, way better than even any of these membership tools that charge you, a year, charge you a yearly price. Over the long run, you will save going with Thrivecart. And let's take a look at how Thrivecart works and some of the ways in which when you use Thrivecart, you can integrate directly with Thrive Apprentice. All right, so we're in Thrivecart and we're looking at one of the sites. Actually, this is my main membership site that I have connected to this little test product here. And you can see right here that uh, when creating a product under the fulfillment section, after we've chosen how much we wanna charge for it, and now we're choosing how we fulfill that, under what should happen after purchase, we simply choose add them to my membership site. And that's just Thrivecart's way of saying, I want to give someone access to a website, which is what Thrive Apprentice does. And we choose our platform, Thrive Apprentice, and that was easy. We just put in an API key and there it is. And now we can choose which website. So I have like four or five different sites connected. I'm gonna choose my main membership site. And here's the magic. Down below you see that we have the course to apply for a purchase. And I can give access to Thrive Architect Ultimate Essentials, or I can give access to my uh, Thrive Apprentice to Master Course, or my Thrive Theme Builder Essentials, or my Thrive Cart Workshop, or my Cart Fills Workshop. So right here, what's really cool is that I can give access directly to a course. Now they also have bump offers, right? I can get a bump offer and I can say, hey, if you buy Thrive Architect Ultimate Essentials, if you just pay $47 more, you can get my, I don't know, my cart flows workshop or whatever I wanted to order bump or upsell into this purchase flow. So it's cool that you can kind of give these little order bumps and give access to multiple things. We can also create bundles. So let's take a look on the Thrive Apprentice side, how that works with bundling our courses together. All right, so here we are back in Thrive Apprentice. If you go to the courses section and then on the inset menu here, we have the course bundles. We can create a new course bundle and this integrates and works directly with Thrivecart. So if I wanted to sell three courses at the same time, I could call this my Thrive Suite course bundle. And then I could choose to add my architect, apprentice and theme builder courses and maybe my, my quiz builder course into this bundle and hit save. And now what I've done is I've created a new course bundle that has four courses and it shows you how many customers are currently signed up for the bundle, which is zero in this test. And now I can go back to Thrivecart and select that bundle. Let me show you how that works. So now we're back at Thrivecart and we're going to give access to the bundle that we just created. So under select the courses to apply to this particular purchase, we can simply click and here choose the bundle. So now when someone purchases, they get access to the Thrive bundle that gives them access to all of my Thrive Suite courses. And I could add a bump offer if I wanted to, um, which is what I chose when I chose product. Um, so let's just say I wanted to give access to the Thrivecart bundle on top of all of that. So that right there is exactly how you could give somebody access to Thrive Apprentice, super easy. It's like insanely easy to do and have it automatically integrate with Thrive Apprentice and restrict access. Now let's talk about what happens after they make the purchase and they've maybe they've purchased the bundle or one of my courses and a bump offer. Let's look at how that integration works and how Thrivecart and Thrive Apprentice together give your customer the login to the course. 
So once again, back in Thrive Apprentice, if we go to settings and email templates, there's a section here where we can choose new account created. And that's what's going to happen. When somebody purchases a course through Thrive Apprentice, it's going to automatically create an account for them on your WordPress website. Now, if they already have an account because they've purchased from you before or somehow have an account on your website, it's going to look up their email address. It's gonna pair the email address and it's going to say, does this email exist? No, create a new account. Does this email exist? Yes, okay, give access to these particular courses that they just bought or this bundle. Now, assuming their account does not exist, this is the email template that we have, new account created, that comes default with Thrive Apprentice. Now, I've tweaked mine a little bit. I've put a custom subject line, your account has been created at Convology Courses, and then I've customized this just a little bit to say, hey there, your account is successfully created, here's your username, here's your password, and then, of course, here's a login. Um, you can actually turn it into a button using this short code for a login button. You can customize this any way you want. You can send them to a dashboard. You can send them, again, anywhere that you want. And don't forget, Thrivecart can automatically redirect them to a confirmation page as sort of like a, hey, here's what's coming next. So you can build a fully custom confirmation page. And I, I actually have several examples of those inside of my Thrive Apprentice course. I actually give you the templates. Um, so if you're interested in getting those templates to my confirmation pages, you can um, check out my Thrive Apprentice to Master course. Um, but essentially, they send the emails, they create the accounts, you really don't have to do anything. At this point, you're completely done. Now, if you wanted to see who has access to your courses through this method, you simply click on the Customers tab. So inside the Customers tab, you can see I actually have several tests on my demo site here um, from uh, running various you can see I have some demo information here, um, but essentially anyone that purchases through the Thrivecart API integration will be added here to your customer section. What can you do here? You can do a lot of cool stuff. I can click on or hover over one of my uh, customers and I can edit their access rights. I can say, you know what, I want to add access to, and then I can choose a class that I want to give them access to, or I can view the WordPress user, which takes me to the WordPress backend. I can also manually add a customer if I wanted to, or I could import customers from another platform. So that's really cool for you to be able to come in here and fully take charge of this. But what's also cool is that this integrates with Thrivecart. If you were charging an ongoing fee, so let's say access to your courses, like maybe you make new workshops and courses once a month and people pay a membership to get access to those. Well, if someone cancels their membership, Thrivecart is automatically going to cancel their access in here as well. So they can get their access revoked when they stop paying, which is a super great feature as well. So here we are, it's not technically a membership plugin, it's Thrivecart and Thrive Apprentice, yet we have those membership access restrictions to our Thrive Apprentice courses only. And therein lies the exception. So when, when I ask, when people ask me, hey, do I need a membership plugin with Thrive Apprentice? I say, well, are you willing to get Thrivecart? If you're willing to get Thrivecart, then great. You have all the features you can restrict access to your courses. The next question I ask is, do you want to restrict access to any other page on your website? And by that, let me show you an example. So here we are back on my main membership site, and this is my dashboard. And essentially when someone is logged in, this is what they see. Whether or not they're a Convology Pro member or not, they're going to see that I have an asset library, I have the Convology community and the workshops and courses that they can go get access to. So let's say they were not a member of Convology Pro, but I have this great asset library. In fact, let's click in and look at that. So I've got some templates for some starter sites. I have uh, some demo templates. I have my sales page template. I actually have my membership uh, dashboard and login section as a template. I have some great um, element design templates and I make these things only available to uh, members of Convology Pro. So in order to restrict this page and to restrict these downloads so that people just can't get them, I have to use a membership plugin to do that because this is a separate standalone page on my WordPress site. So if I, again, go to that page and I click edit page, I'm gonna show you how Wishlist Member restricts access to this. So here on that page, we have a section for Wishlist Member that when we expand it out, and it's kind of truncated here in my sidebar, um, but essentially we can protect access to this course and we can choose right here that only Convology Pro members are able to access this page. 
you can see it says select the membership levels that get access to this content. So I've added Confology Pro. So only members of Confology Pro get this. Now, I still use Thrivecart to sell my courses and my membership. However, instead of just going right to Thrive Apprentice, it goes directly to Wishlist Member, and then Wishlist Member adds a membership level, kind of like an in-between. So Wishlist Member becomes that go-between and gives me more control over blocking other pages on my site. So let's kind of recap here as we go back to the course index on my site. If you just want to sell courses and restrict access to courses, then really all you need is Thrivecart. Thrivecart is the perfect tool. It's the best tool. It has currently the best integrations with Thrive Apprentice. They've built it that way. Thrive Themes has done that. So when you get Thrive Suite and you get Thrive Apprentice going and you get Thrivecart, you can sell your courses, do order bumps, do uh, subscriptions, do upsells, all those great things. You get the membership section to see all your customers in Thrive Apprentice and you can give people access and revoke it. Awesome tool. But if you want to protect other pages on your site, then you need Wishlist Member. And that's really the rub. In terms of uh, email marketing tools, yeah, Wishlist Member integrates really, really well with all of them. Thrive Apprentice does too. Uh, personally, I tend to like Wishlist Members integrations just a little bit more. Um, that's because I use Fluent CRM for my emails and because um, I use Uncanny Automator. I do a lot more inside of WordPress. So because I'm using Wishlist Member to protect other pages, I use Wishlist Member to protect, protect my, um, or to integrate with my emails as well. But do you need a membership plugin? No, absolutely not. You can get Thrive Suite and it will work perfectly with Thrivecart and you can restrict access. You could technically also use other tools that as long as they create user roles on your website, you could accomplish the same thing. But again, I recommend Thrivecart. So hopefully that kind of gives you a little bit of insight into that question. Do I need a membership plugin with Thrive Apprentice? No. Does having one add a few cool things? Yeah, absolutely. Depends on your setup. I use Wishless Member and Thrivecart. You could just use Thrivecart and it would be perfectly fine. So that's gonna do it for this video, everyone. Um, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment or go over to confology.com and I'd be happy to assist you there. And we'll see you in the next video.